Hi again everyone. In today's video, we'll be using Market Samurai to investigate the strength of the competition in each of the niches that you're currently investigating. Specifically, we'll be covering what the column headings in the SEO matrix actually mean, how to assess the strength of competition for each of your theme keywords, and how to use this information to check if your niches meet the challenge criteria. In yesterday's video, we introduced the SEO competition module in Market Samurai, and we saw that for the challenge, we're going to focus on five factors to determine the strength of the competition in our niches. Let's take a quick look at each of these factors in more detail. The first factor is page rank. Google gives every page on the internet a rank from 0 to 10 to indicate its level of authority. A brand new web page usually has a rank of 0, and the home page of a site such as USA.gov has a page rank of 10. It's important to note that the page rank scale is not linear. Rather, the authority of a web page increases exponentially with each increase in page rank. What this means is that a PR1 web page has approximately 10 times more authority than a PR0 web page, but a PR5 web page has approximately 100,000 times more authority than a PR0 web page. So, if you see a lot of page ranks of 3 or higher in the PR column, it means that you'll be competing against a large number of high authority web pages. Alternatively, if sites with low page rank are ranking in the top 10, it means that the phrase may be more accessible. The second factor we're looking at in the SEO matrix is page backlinks. The BLP column shows the number of backlinks to the specific page listed in the Google rankings. Google considers links to a page to be something like a vote of confidence. The idea being that if a lot of people are linking to a page, it probably contains valuable content. If there are only a few backlinks to pages that are ranking in the top 10 of Google, it again means that you have a better chance to compete for this phrase. Remember, we're looking at this from the perspective of the lion story from yesterday. We're trying to be just a little bit better than our competition. So, if there's a web page ranking in the top 10 for Google that only has two backlinks, then we may have a reasonably good chance of outranking that page. The third factor we'll be looking at is whether the ranking page is listed in the Yahoo directory. The Yahoo directory is a paid directory which costs about $300 per year, so it's not something we're suggesting if you're just starting out. However, it can have a significant impact on ranking and is another way you might be able to outrun your competition. The fourth factor we'll be looking at is whether the ranking page contains the keyword phrase in the title of the page. Just to clarify, let's take a look at this website. A lot of people think that this is the title of the page, but this is actually just a heading. The title of a page is actually what appears up here in the browser. If the keyword you're investigating is in the title tag of the page, then you will see a Y in the title column in Market Samurai. And the final factor we'll be looking at is the keyword in URL. This is an indication of whether or not the keyword is contained somewhere in the address of the ranking web page. The phrase can appear either before the .com on the domain side, or as part of the directory or page name. Okay, now that you understand a bit more detail about what these columns actually mean, let's just quickly recap where you should be up to at this point in the challenge. Your action steps from the last video were to become familiar with the Market Samurai SEO matrix, and to create a simple table that contains the three niches you're exploring, and then for each niche, the phrases that met our initial traffic and competition criteria. So let me now show you an example of this. 
Here are the three niches that I've been exploring while putting together these videos. The first market I looked into was the weddings market, and this was mainly because I got married four months ago. Within this market, I explored the planning a wedding niche, and I identified six micro niche level keywords that met the initial traffic and competition criteria. Of these, I decided that wedding planning books was probably the best theme keyword because a number of the other keywords would make sense as category keywords beneath this wedding planning books theme. The second market I looked into was the ballet market because my wife runs a dance school. Within this market, I investigated the ballet for kids niche and found six keyword phrases that met the required criteria. Of these, I chose Ballet for Kids as my potential theme keyword because it was most representative of the niche. The third market I looked into was the martial arts market. Within this market, I explored the martial arts stretching niche and found eight phrases that met the initial traffic and competition criteria. Of these, I chose martial arts stretching as the best potential theme keyword because once again it best represented the niche. Now at the moment we don't know anything about the strength of the competition for these keyword phrases. So what we need to do next is use the SEO competition module in Market Samurai to assess the strength of competition for each of our theme keywords. Let's cross over to Market Samurai and see exactly how this works. So the first theme keyword I'm investigating is wedding planning books. And here's my SEO matrix for this phrase. Now it's important to point out here that interpreting an SEO matrix is not an exact science because you're dealing with the interaction between a large number of independent variables. However, as many people who are doing the challenge are relatively new to internet marketing, what I'd like to do is try and give you an easy to understand rule of thumb for determining whether or not you have a chance of getting onto the front page of Google. And the rule of thumb we're going to use in this year's challenge is to look at the top 10 ranking pages and try and identify at least one weak competitor that we have a reasonable chance of outranking. Naturally, the more weak competitors that are listed in the top 10, the better. So, if you can find a theme keyword with three weak competitors, that would be a better phrase to target than a theme keyword with one weak competitor. So the obvious question is, how do we identify a weak competitor? Well, the good news is that Market Samurai does a lot of the hard work for you. For the sake of this year's challenge, we're going to say that the way to identify a weak competitor is to look for a complete row of green in our SEO matrix. What this actually means is that the PR will be less than 3, the page backlinks will be less than 200, the ranking page will not be listed in the Yahoo directory, and it will not be heavily on-page optimised. But again, the simple way to look at this is that if you see a complete row of green, then you've identified a weak competitor. So let's take a look at this matrix. I can see that down here at number 9, I have a complete row of green. So that's one weak competitor. And then again, up here at number 1, I can also see a complete row of green which means that for this matrix, there are two weak competitors listed in the top 10. Now you may be wondering how a weak competitor can be ranking number 1. Well in this case, the website is barnesandnoble.com, and it's probably ranking due to the overall authority of its domain, rather than the specific authority of this ranking page. But even though the domain has a high authority, this ranking page is not specifically optimised for the phrase we're targeting. So just to clarify, this matrix contains two weak competitors, and therefore our theme keyword, Wedding Planning Books, 
passes our competition criteria. Now let's take a look at the SEO matrix for my second theme keyword, which was Ballet for Kids. And looking over this matrix, I can quickly see that there is one weak competitor in the top 10 as indicated by this complete row of green up here at number 7. So the Ballet for Kids theme keyword also meets my competition criteria. Now as you get used to interpreting these matrices, you'll want to start looking a bit beyond the colour indicators and take notice of the actual numbers. Really, what you're looking for is as many sites as possible in the top 10 that have a low PR, a low number of backlinks, no Yahoo directory listing, and no keyword in the title or URL. OK, now let's take a look at the SEO matrix for my final theme keyword, which was martial arts stretching. And for this theme keyword, you can see here that there are two weak competitors in the top 10 of Google, ranking at number 10 and number 8. Again, all I'm looking for is a complete row of green. So, this theme keyword also passes my competition criteria. Now I've been fairly lucky with my niches because all of them have passed the competition criteria. But just for contrast, let's take a look at the SEO matrix for the phrase antique clocks. Here you can see that none of these rows are completely green. This means that there is not a single weak competitor in the top 10 of Google, and therefore this would not be a good phrase to target as a theme keyword. Basically, if there is no weak competitors in the top 10 of Google, then it's time to find a new niche. So let's just recap what we've covered in this video. We began by describing what the columns in the SEO matrix actually mean. Then we identified that the next step in the challenge process was to assess the strength of competition associated with each of our theme keywords using the SEO competition module in Market Samurai. In order to pass our theme keyword competition criteria, we said that there has to be at least one, and preferably more, weak competitors listed in the top 10 of Google. Our criteria for identifying a weak competitor was to find a complete row of green which indicated a low PR, a reasonably low number of backlinks, no Yahoo directory listing, and incomplete on-page optimization. So today's action step is to review each of your niches and use the SEO competition module in Market Samurai to explore the strength of competition associated with each of your theme keywords. If you can find at least one weak competitor, then your niche passes the competition criteria. And the more weak competitors that you can find in the top 10, the better.